It's Doug with America's Best Restaurants. We're traveling the country coast to coast to find restaurants that you should eat at every single week. We're in Greenville, South Carolina at Saskatoon Lodge. This is Edmund. He created this whole concept and it is cool. You're gonna check it out, but first off, Edmund, how did you come up with this and what is Saskatoon Lodge? Well, Saskatoon Lodge Restaurant and Event Center, we created it 26, 27 years ago. And it is a dinners only, uh, steaks, fish, wild game restaurant. We open at five every day. And uh, our specialty is wild game. And we, and we created it many years ago uh, because you know, as an independent, as a small mom and pop independent, you need to have a niche. Mm -hmm. In fact, in, in business school, they always taught us to niche and niche and niche down until you were the only person in that niche. Right. So in Greenville, South Carolina, if you want a elk or a buffalo steak served to you by an old Chinese guy, we own that market. That's about as niche as you can get. That's right. That's what we are. Got it. Now we're going to profile three menu items in just a second, but first off, I want to read as you said, you're much more than just the restaurant. You have meal prep, you do weddings. Right. Talk about everything that you offer, not just the three items in the menu that we're going to talk right, about. Right, right, yeah. We'll go over those in a minute. But so when we created this business um, and as we developed and evolved it over the years, you know, we wanted to diversify and we wanted to have different profit centers. So our number one profit center is the, the brick and mortar restaurant, dinners only. Uh, the second profit center is a uh, is a weight loss program, chef prepared meals based on the paleo diet, mm -hmm. and we'll serve between 150 to 200 people a week their entire week's worth of meals. So on a Monday night like tonight, and what you saw, you know we'll have you know maybe 2,000 to 3,000 meals depending on the time of the year that will all go out on that night, and and that program comes with uh, email coaching. It comes with vitamins and and shakes and supplements and instructions and uh, and daily emails and that type of thing. Uh, the third thing that we do, and we had the opportunity to do that when we came over here, uh, was that we added an events business. So we have an event center uh, that we have um, a event tent for weddings and whatnot. Uh, we have a large event room that we rent out. Uh, and that is our sort of our big ticket item, you know, so you know, in every business, you have to have the different things, you know, so the restaurant is your day to day income. Uh, your second is the meal prep, which is our subscription uh, program. And the third thing is our big ticket, which is our weddings and rehearsal dinners and whatnot. And so since we've been here for three and a half years, we've done about 70 weddings or so, a couple hundred rehearsal dinners, a whole bunch more corporate events and such, so forth. And then the final thing is something that we develop as a pivot. Uh, to the pandemic. So last year, 2020, uh, we added five ghost kitchen concepts. And ghost kitchen concepts are, are delivery kitchens with no forward-facing retail okay. front, as everybody uh, you would know. And we do, um, uh, we have uh, Wow Bao, which is uh, Chinese street food. We have uh, Farmstead Greens, which is our organic salads. We have Lodge uh, Dogs, which is a uh, hot dog concept built from our wild game sausages. Uh, we have Lodge Birds, uh, which is our um, fried chicken sandwich concept. And finally, we have uh, Heavenly Cheese Melts. I lose track on them all. But Heavenly Cheese Melts, which is our grilled cheese sandwich, uh, Ghost Kitchen. Got a so, lot going on. Got a lot going on. Yeah, That's but cool. In today's world, you got to do what you got to do. You got it. And we're going to focus on three items. We have a ribeye. We have salmon, which you got to check this out. And then we have desserts which they make here fresh. So those are three items that we're gonna profile. You come with me, let's go check it out. All right, we're back, we're inside. We have item number one, this thing of beauty sitting in front of us. This is Wes from the kitchen. Wes, what are we looking at? 
Well, this is our ribeye. This is uh, one of our staples, um, especially if you're a little shy about the wild game. Uh, the ribeye is a can't miss. Um, it is an upper choice cut, uh, corn fed, uh, 12 ounce steak. Um, in this case, we were served with our vegetable medley of uh, green beans, corn, and uh, yellow squash. Um, and that's what we've got here. Um, Excellent. All right, so you had mentioned the, the wild game. Can you go into that? What are some of the wild game options on the menu? Well, um, I'll start with our buffalo ribeye since we're looking at our, our beef ribeye right now. Um, that's a good starter point. Um, it's not entirely different from a beef ribeye, a little sweeter in flavor. Um, it's a good starter choice if you're unsure of what to try wild game wise. Mm -hmm. um, beyond that, we serve kangaroo, ostrich, uh, venison chops, antelope, um, and the list goes on. It changes seasonally, um, but currently that's what we're working with. Cool. Anything different you have to do for elk or antelope preparation-wise? Well, the elk and the antelope, um, both of those are marinated items. Our beef and buffalo ribeyes are not marinated, um, just seasoned. We're currently using a uh, paleo seasoning mix on each of those. Very cool. All right, item number two of three. Wait till you see this. You want to talk about a finished product? Hold on a second. Justin, this, what are we looking at? This is our cedar plank salmon. Uh, the first step is to cold smoke for approximately 20 minutes. The second step is cook to a temperature of medium rare. And finally, the last step is to finish in the oven and a maple whiskey glaze. All right, now I'm sure you've had salmon before, but I don't think it's come out to the table looking like this. Here's presentation. All right, so for item number three, we have a special guest, Marcella, who's one of the pastry chefs here at Saskatoon. This, I am told, is the most popular dessert item, so obviously we're gonna profile it. So. What are we looking at? Oh my. Yeah, so everything's made in the house. We have a brownie base and a brownie side. Dark chocolate is mixed, is melted, mixed with whipped cream and gelatin. And that's the base part and the top part. And the middle part is also with very high quality white chocolate. So what's it called? Uh, it's, a cho it's a long name. Okay. You know, it's a chocolate mousse pie. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the name of it. So this has been a staple here for the restaurant for a yes, long time? Yes, for many years, yes. And then everything is made fresh? Yes, everything's made in the house. Nice, mm -hmm. that's beautiful. Love it, can't wait to eat this one. Cool, we're back outside, love it, the menu items. But Edmund, how do people find you? Well, we're in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, we're on 681 Halton Road, Greenville, South Carolina, Saskatoon Lodge Restaurant and Event Center. Come see us, please. Do so because you saw the food. We had to walk away from the table. Now we get to go inside and eat it. So if that's what you want, get here because I'm out.